Bless me, sister, for I have sinned. It has been, I think this is my first confession. That's fabulous. I okay. think. I, now that I'm thinking about it, I might have done one when I was as a, like a bit. Not as a bit, but my when my friends went to church, I was trying to fit in. That's so messed up that you would do confession as a bit. I mean, it's silly. Like, it's a silly thing to do. It is silly. It's disrespectful. I'm sorry. I, I steal from Whole Foods like almost every week. Every week? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, most weeks. It's not like on a schedule, but I would give it about every week. Just because it's like easy and the style, like the cheeses are really good. Like, I don't know, it's also not like super I mean, necessity. I mean, I don't make a lot of money, but it's like I definitely could just like get cheap food. But I do want to eat like steak and scallops. So you can just like take it from there. Uh, so you like, steal. You steal a lot. Whoa, you steal a lot. Yeah. Uh, Was well, that bad? Well, I think you know it's bad. That's why you're telling me. You know, Amazon does a bunch of bad things that kind of like take away from us in mass, and then you kind of steal back from them uh, as sort of like a you know. But I guess you're not really into the eye for an eye thing, even in that sense. No, I really wish God was about the gray area, but he's not. He's pretty, like, cut and dry. Yeah, especially about stealing food. Mm. It's a real uh, Jean Valjean move over there. Is that, a, like, a, is that another priest? We don't know Les Miserables. I don't know. I, yeah. no, no, I don't know. All right, I'll add that. I can't speak French or anything like that. Okay. What did you, do you want to confess something? Do you go also? That, Absolutely not what this is about. Okay, well, it feels unbalanced. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, James. Yeah. The bar is high already. You're doing things like questioning God's authority. You're yeah. stealing a lot. Yeah, but only from big corporations. Okay, you're stealing a lot. How about, for example, your treatment of maybe girls? Um, I think, I guess I'm having sex outside the confines of marriage. How many times? Uh, like ever or recently? Ever. Does it count like different, are you counting different girls or just like the same? You know, this is like the classic question with guys. It's like, do you like, just, you know, body count versus like how many times you've had sex with the same girl? Like not that I engage in those conversations, but I just wonder like from God's perspective, is he worried about like total, like amount of chicks? Or like how many times you you get it in? Well, I first of all, I don't think you would ever say chicks. Um, but second of all, I think probably number because they're all a sin. So like total number. Total number. Oh, like I'm not gonna sit in confession and brag about getting laid, but right? it's know. not about bragging. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. But you have gotten laid. What about hey? But what about God? He impregnated the Mary. They weren't married. Uh, just fucking glass house. All right. How about how about uh, practice what you preach, God? Okay, God didn't impregnate Mary. He put a baby in her, but not with. That's her. what that is. That's what that means. It was different back then. All right. I've had sex probably like hundreds of times, and that's a brag now. Yeah. Because God's only had sex once. Pride. Cuck. Have you ever deceived a woman? Um, let me think. No, I think I'm, I'm pretty upfront. Yeah, I don't do a lot of deception. That's, oh, really? Yeah, do you, are you, are you, you have a story? Have you heard different? I don't know, what about um, a time that maybe you pretended to not know someone's name? To make you seem blasé. I really forgot your name. I, I in real life forgot your name. God's here. Yes. Open channel. Yeah. <laughs> is that why you brought me here? Was that the whole point of you bringing me here? Is because you were mad that I forgot your name? Absolutely not. You thought I was sort of like gaming you? Like, I don't you think I that like you a... really forgot my name. Yeah. Isn't, wouldn't this be an example of your pride? Again, and I won't, and I will say it again if I need to. 
not about me. I will put this whole system on trial. So you've never deceived a woman to make her think that you're cooler than you are? Why would someone forgetting your name make them cool? Because you're like, I don't even care about her. Oh, what? I, I didn't look at her Instagram. I don't care about her. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I did. I did. I just forgot your name. That would be an insane thing to do. I'm 26 years old. I don't play games like that, pretending to forget people's names. I don't. I have insomnia, so I don't like. I don't remember a lot of stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna mark down mm -hmm. the church records. You've never deceived a woman ever. <laughs> well, I mean, probably my whole life. That's not true. But like, I think in this sort of like, I think you're giving kind of like implications, you know, you're giving a sort of like negative. I am, yeah. Yeah. And sins towards women are worse because Jesus's mother was a woman. What about negging? What? <laughs> yeah. What about, that's a sin? It's a sin to neg now? Where does it say, where does it say that negging is a sin? Show me a Bible. Well, let's break it down. Yeah. Nagging is being mean. Right. Right? I means guess. a sin. Means a and sin. And then you add in a devious purpose. I don't think means a sin. It is a sin. I'm not a big negger anyway. Usually that's more of a more of like a playful flirt, I think. I mean sometimes like teasing, but like I think nagging kind of implies that like a like a severity that I, don't, I generally don't do. Are you writing stuff down? Nope. All right. Because you were so obsessed with like lies and women. Sometimes I'll be like, I'll be like, I have to wake up really early tomorrow to go to work when I don't want to like sleep over somewhere because I don't sleep well. But then so if you say that, if you're like, I don't sleep well, especially if you I'm in someone else's apartment, then sometimes people will take that as like a, they'll take that personally. So mm -hmm. sort of to skirt that, I'll, I'll, I'll do a lie and be like, I have to get up early tomorrow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good to get that one out in the open. Yeah. Does that sound bad? That's not that bad, though. Do you pay for her Uber home? I have. I mean, sometimes, sometimes she makes way more money than me, so then that's, that would be like a silly thing. Oh. Greed. Let's talk about that. OK. Are you giving to charity? Um, I don't think so. I don't know. I know I'm not, I'm not giving to charity. You know, Jesus would say, no matter how poor you are, give to the pauper because maybe he'll be king. Okay. Well, that seemed a little, that seemed like not in this. My point spirit. is okay. drop a penny every once in a while. I'll bump cigs. Like if someone comes up and like, can I get a cigarette? Always a hundred percent of the time. Here you go. Are you honoring your mother and father? I could call them more, I guess. How else do, how else do you honor them? What does that mean to you? What does that mean? Yeah, like God loves authority figures and like being um, basically like on your knees to pretty much anyone. And mom and dad are big. Okay. But you went to NYU, so you probably are not doing everything your parents say. All right, out of pocket? Yeah, film school too, so even worse. Uh, I feel like that must be a sin. <laughs> yeah, NYU film school is definitely a sin. Did you yell at them? Probably, yeah. Did you say, shut up, mom? Like that? Yeah, that was just, that's how I, that's pretty close to how I said You were definitely one of those kids who told your parents to shut yeah. up. Shut up, mom. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Are you jealous? Of? Jealousy. Oh, like in general? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. I would say that it's it's nice to have like, like you see things other people get and you're like, oh, but I want that. And you feel bad. Yeah, you described what jealousy is. Yep. It's bad, but you can't control your feelings. Mmm. Do you want to hold my hand? Um, I'm so glad you offered it. <laughs> I'm really glad you offered it. Because that to me is a huge deal. Yeah, I think this would make confession better if you were like holding a hand, hands like. Yeah, but imagine if I were a priest now. I think still be comforting. Hmm. Even though his hand is wet with. With the, with what? No. Uh, oh, no. yeah. Nah. Are you going to make that joke? Nah. Are you about to make that joke? Okay, I have to give you your penance now.
go into Whole Foods with something you made at home in your home kitchen and put it back on the shelf. Yeah. For someone else. And then, then someone that can buy it from Whole Foods is what you're saying? I just think you took it out, put it back in, make it nice, a homey meal, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. I also think you should, as your penance, say my name 1,000 times <laughs> if you can. Okay. That's from God. That's awesome. Is there anything while we have God here that you want to just get out of the way? Um, I don't. I mean, I think I kind of like covered a lot. You don't of want to say any anything else to him? To God? Yeah. Um, I feel like if you could like do some stuff about the poverty and the hunger and the climate, that would be cool. So it kind of seems like you're sort of not addressing those things. Yeah, he probably doesn't know about that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, was that sarcasm? I guess it would be hard to tell through the curtain, wouldn't it? Uh-huh. Are you still there?